Greetings and salutations, comrades, and welcome back. We are on the right track. The last of them. No, it isn't. There's two right there. They're just inactive, so you think it's the last of them, Tally. What have I told you before? You are not allowed to tell me when we are out of harm's way. See? This is why you leave it to Garrus. This is, this is why we can't have nice things, Tally. Because every time you say, oh yeah, everything's hunky-dory, it's peachy king, oh, or it's all good, it's all clear. See, stop, stop that. Stop that. In all our wanderings, my people have never come across any creature like this. Yeah, well, there's a first time for everything. Over there! Stop running. We're gonna die. Garrus, I didn't mean to shoot you. Tally, I don't know how you do that little disintegration trick, but it's bloody awesome. I love it when you do that. I'm gonna kill you. Like that. Alright! Yeah! Suck it! That's what you get for thinking you're a plant. Oh. Is that what was in those things? I'm free! I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is that how it was cloning them? Is everything alright? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Indoctrination. You saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's pretty bad. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. And what about this Cypher? What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Uh, interesting. The Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. There's gotta be a way, right? I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. 
Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Oh, no, my mouse has died. Okay, um... This is the time we should talk. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. Then whatever it is, we cannot let him have it. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Fingers crossed. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it, so alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. You sound sad. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Um, this one, that one. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Mm. Alright, well, what do we do with you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Fair enough. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. 
And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. You're very welcome, Juliana Bainham. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. Good. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you guys got anything? It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. This wouldn't have happened if Exogeny had backed us from the start. Hmm, fair enough. Start over. How you doing, Gavin? Thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. You're welcome. Shala! I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Mm, there's nothing else to say. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Thank you. You're glowing. Uh, refer to a group here. Refer to a search. Go to the system. Maroon C cluster. That's where I'm going. Let's go find out about Cerberus before we actually. I don't want to spoil anything for you, you know. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I could think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. No, I killed her, didn't I? No. Gonna get back up on a Normandy. I'm gonna go back over to learn about Cerberus. Get back on a Normandy. Gonna fly around the galaxy and saving mankind. And enter. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Stand by. Targets. Decont Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects? I feel a little odd. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Well, that sounds like you're trying to get a little intimate with me there. Mm. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Giggity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I don't even know what that means. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. So, nothing useful. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Hmm. So what do we do now? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are uh, you okay? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Go ahead. We're done here. 
Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogen, you should have told us about the Thorian. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. It's better out this way. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Damn straight. Inhuman had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Sacrifice you, Mr. Council. Okay, so. Uh, let's go off to... Yep, salute. Hi. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Man, more. Alright, what's up? How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Okay. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Alright, so I do want to record this um, side mission because of the predominant role that um, Cerberus takes. Or, uh, plays in the next two chapters of the Mass Effect saga. Oh, this is very pretty. Very grassy. Or maybe it's just mossy. Um, let's start at the civilian sector structure thing. This is going to get sped up S significantly. Boop. Is. Let's go in. Boop. Finally, some action. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing here? Like, really? What are huts? Why, why are there so many of you? What the hell is going on here? I don't think this is the same side mission. I think this is... I, I don't know, it might be the same one. I didn't even check. Actually, I'm gonna check right now. Climb it! Good job. Oh, um... Goddess, have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. Transform you. Anything else around here? Nope. Ah. Okay. Let's head on in. I don't even know how that building...
Though that the entrance to this building works. Perfectly circular on the outside. And then what is that? Oh. I I have no idea what that is. Looks like some kind of dead animal. Or alien. Kinda like a bear skin rug, but instead of bear skin, you know, alien. Shy guy. They tried to make a carpet out of shy guy. It's kinda what it looked like. Yeah, keep vomiting that stuff at me. Nope, no, nope, nope. You can have that. I want you to have this. And I don't want it back. Uh, you're gone, that should be it. Oh, now you're ready. Uh, I'm glad, you know, you weren't ready before when we actually needed you to be ready. Um, what is my sole purpose in here? Sole purpose is to head in that direction. Um, okay. Um, where, where, I'm, um, Oh, I need to go that way. I, I guess. I, I, I'm so confused. What? How's... How is that... My flag is there. What? Okay, you know what? Screw you. That's why. So you just, you know, my flag doesn't mean anything, apparently. Which is fine, you know, you're pointing me in the right direction and all, but I'd like to know that my flag means something to you, game. Because apparently, it means nothing to you. And that really hurts. A lot. There's the door. To the right. Skill too low. Uh, Colonial Pioneer Team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Okay, so my journal has been updated. What does it say? Okay, this one? You found a company while on Pharos. That's different. Oh, that's the. Okay. Well, that was actually far less informative than I was hoping for. Oh well, I still got some cool things out of it. So, yeah, basically, what we, we will find out in the coming videos is that um wait why is that exclamation still there do i need to open it back up let's go um okay that's all right uh yeah cerberus is a pro-human group they seek to advance human to the forefront of all matters, um, not necessarily within Citadel space, but you know within the galaxy as a whole. To they want humans to be on top. They want humans to be the number one alien species. And their methods, as you will find out, are a bit less than how should I say? Orthodox. Yeah. And that was just the first little inkling of a hint that you will find see. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Hold on a minute. That's what I thought. I'm not ending this episode here. 
I still got more to find. And it starts with killing these husks. And get out. And get in. Stop making noises. Your noises are very disconcerting. Well, uh, that's why you don't mess with me. Okay. Let's go see if there's anything upstairs. Ah, you go too slow. Always too slow. Weapons locker. Anything there? Yep, got some medi gels. Oh, uh, was there really nothing in here? Did I just continue this episode for no reason? I did. Alright, well. If there's anything else, I'll, I'll put it back in during editing. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, click the little button doohickey that says you did. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos every week. Check the annotations at the end here for more videos that I have done. And as always, until next time.